virtuous style i'm so happy to do this today again i focus on fashion style travel lifestyle and faith and before we get started i'm gonna let you guys know what i'm wearing i'm wearing a t-shirt from one of my brand which is called jesus the vibe i am wearing a saint laurent jeans one of my favorite jeans that i'm obsessed with i told you guys any jeans that come from japan that is made in japan grab it um my earring my earring you guys can see i didn't put it on well <laughs> my earring and my ring you guys already know this ring i'm loyal to this ring are from coyote co i will put down the information below and i'm wearing an apple watch and no shoes <laughs> and today we're going to discuss why i quit my job Finally. Okay guys, so I have my iPad here only because I wrote some notes. I didn't want to forget um, some things I wanted to talk to you guys about and I feel like I, I would still forget. So if anything, this might be two videos in one. If I forget, I might just come back and, and make another video and just add everything together. So yeah. Alright, so the first thing I want to tell you guys is that my number one reason for quitting my job was time 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 you know for those who have a nine to five it's a lot i had my 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 career i had my businesses not even business businesses which i'm going to talk about later you know i had jesus the vibe i had shop without day i had um a ministry which is called one accord that i was leading you know um through the grace of god um, I also was, what else, what else, what else, you know, I had a full-time job working at Saint Laurent and I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. You see, this is why sometimes you got to do two videos in one, but I know, oh yes. And I wanted to really concentrate on content and, you know, really do this to YouTube and just do what I love. I'm going to wake up every day and say, yes, I'm going to work. Yes, I am doing what I love. Not just, oh, another day. Like that is. That is depressing. That is annoying. That is not cool. <laughs> that is not the vibe, you know? Um, so time. So I would like wake up early in the morning, you know, try to create content for real and then get ready for work. Sometimes I would go to work late because of that and get back home late. You know, I just couldn't concentrate. I couldn't think. I couldn't plan because I was so tired, you know, after I come back from work. It was really, really annoying. And I was like, mm -mm. I gotta do something. Now, a lot of people were saying, well, Ade, why don't you look for a part-time job while you're doing what you wanted to do? You know, I really thought about that, but the amount of things that I'm doing, even a part-time job will be too stressful for me. And I'm a lady that I walk in faith. I, I, I pray, you know, and I make sure I'm just always still to, to, to hear from God. And I don't make moves without hearing from God. I'm like, God, what do you want me to do? And, you know, just encourage other people. It's been the best decision I've made, you know, um, just just being still and allowing God to, you know, do what he does best. And that's to lead. Um, the second thing was God has given me a gift. I have a talent that the Lord has given me. And why would I want to use my talent, my gift to make somebody else money when I can make myself money? Hello. You know, I was talking to a friend, right? And I was saying, my generation, or so my, my generation, my mom's generation, you know, they're so used to, oh, go to school. And I'm not saying education is super important. Oh, please, get, get your degree. Super important. So don't try to please put words in my mouth before I say what I want to say. And, but I would just say that our generation and my mom's generation and the generation above her, you know, they're... They're so, they're, their mindset was, go to school, get your education, get a master, PhD, HHD, ZHD, and, you know, make that six digit, you know, get a good job. But guess what? It doesn't work for everybody. Thank God it worked for me. I was getting paid really, really, really well. I'm talking about, you know, six digits kind of well. Grateful for that. Um, but I was not happy. You know? Um, and... I feel like people are forced to do things because, oh, 
well, my mom said, or my brother said, or the world said. No. What is your heart? What is your spirit saying? And I feel like this generation, they're so fearless. They're doing what they love. They're using their gifts to make so much money. I see people who are way younger than me making millions. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm still young. I can still do what I love. And hello, I'm doing it and I'm so happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to talk about this. Was I scared? Yes. 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 Was I contemplating? Yes. Even with this YouTube. Years. <laughs> Years. But um, I will talk about that later. Um, my third point, because I really want to, you know, just really focus on what I wrote. Again, I will just be bobbling. I'll just forget everything I, I wrote. Um, another thing is that I don't want nobody telling me what to do. I don't want nobody telling me what to go to lunch. I don't want nobody telling me when I can travel. Oh, you don't have enough PTO. For those who don't know, that means pay time out. I don't want nobody telling me that I, I just, I want to get up and say I'm going to travel. I love to travel and that's what I want to do. I don't want to be like, um, sir, ma'am, um, please can I put my time in? Time in? Oh, we're going to think about it. Uh, we're not too sure. We'll see what's going on. Oh, it's, 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 it's a heavy time. Sorry, you could not travel. No, I want to get up, go travel without telling me, without someone stopping me. Unless God tells me, no, Tokomo, you can't go here. I say you can't go here. Then that's different. I know I said Tokumba. So by the way, my full name is Ade Tokumba. So those who are like family, they call me Tokumba. And my friends, and if you're not, not, if you're not Nigerian, you're calling me Ade because you ain't going to mess up my name. And another thing was that Jesus is the vibe. This is my baby. This is something God gave me last year during the whole COVID um, situation. And I remember being on live and, and preaching on live and telling people about just do it. Like whatever God has put in your heart, whatever you want to do, just do it. Just go and just do it. And I didn't even know that word was for me too. I mean, I was talking to myself, but I feel like that moment, God was really talking to me, telling me, go do it. Do it. By the way, this t-shirt line, I would say t-shirt, I didn't want to do t-shirts and hoodies, um, dealing with faith for a long time. I'm talking about over three years. And I just remember loud and clear, um, just being on that live and just talking about, just do it, just get up. Do not allow fear to stop you. And, I, and after the live, I got up, got dressed, went to downtown LA, you know, just to look at t-shirts, you know, find out about prices, um, how to do it, look for someone who will print the things that I want on my t-shirt. Oh, sorry. Just to let you know, it was not called Jesus is the Vibe. It was actually called The Virtuous Style. So just TBS. And I remember the two shirts that I did, the first was Child of God and the second, second one was She Girds Herself With Strength. And before that, you know, I remember going to downtown, I was talking to somebody and, you know, I was asking the price and what is, what do I have to do? And so and so the time. And he said, why don't you just start now? I'm like, no, 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 do not plan to start now. I just wanted to just, you know, inquire of all these things. And he's like, okay. But it's like, you know, you could just start a little t-shirt right there. Whatever you want to do, you know, just send it to me. I could print it. And immediately, I just remembered what I preached about on live. And you know what? And I said to myself, loud and clear in front of him, I say, you know what? Just do it. Just go. So I did it. I went across the street, bought some t-shirts, um, and I gave him two verses. And we started Child of God and, and she grows herself with strength. And as soon as I, I launched it, it sold. You know, I, I did well. I did I didn't sell everything out, but it was selling. And I got motivated. I got super motivated. And I told, I told myself, I said, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. So I just really want to talk to you guys quickly about the problem. The problem. Why people don't stop. And number one, this is to me, this is my opinion. The fear, and I'll say my opinion because 
it happened to me too. So I, I understand what I hear from other people. Um, the fear of the unknown, like how, if, what, where, when. Now I understand, you know, what, when Nike was saying, just do it. Just do it. The fear of the unknown, like, damn, I quit my job. I, I, I'm not making this. Look, I am not making as much money as I'm, I'm making when I was working at my corporate job. At my, I mean, at my, at my, you know, nine to five. But guess what? I believe I will make times 10. Now, it's your faith. It's your faith, what you believe in, and, and how, how, how much do you believe in what you're doing? I believe so much in what I'm doing, and I, and I know it's, it's, it's going to be a vibe. It is the vibe. And um, it's like the fear of the unknown, like how, where, how, if nobody likes it, it it's not doing well, how about I have right people, so and so. It's, it, it's, it's easy to say it, but you, you really have to know owning a business is not going to be perfect in the beginning. You're going to learn so many different lessons. And it's okay. A lot of people who have made it hear their story in the beginning. It wasn't rosy. It was, Jeff, Jeff Bezos, I, it wasn't rosy. But consistency is key. And, and I feel like we just have to just pass that stage of, oh, I'm going to do it next year. Oh, I'm going to do it if, when I have this. So I guess that's my second thing I want to say. Not enough utilities or product. Oh, I don't have enough. Like, even with this vlogging, people have been telling me, I say vlog, I say go on YouTube. No, I need this camera. I need to make sure I have my own apartment. I need to make sure I have this. I need to buy this. I need to buy that. No, but there are people who started with their phones. I, I believe I started very, very late. But guess what? I've started. Thank God. There are people who say they want to do something and they never even started. Just go. Just move. It, it takes time. Most of these bloggers you're seeing or vloggers you're seeing, if you look at their first videos, you, you would think that they use an iPhone. You know, I, I don't even know how to explain it. But look at them now. Look at them now. So um, another thing is not seeing progress immediately. So you're so easy, you're so you're so quick to quit. Oh, I just started. Wow, well, you had five subs. I'm not doing this anymore. Girl, God, humble yourself. It's okay. At least you had a sell. I feel like one sell alone should motivate you. And even if you don't have any sell, um, the first day or the second day or even a month, it's okay. Now sit down, think about what can I do better. Period. Like, there's so many colors I want to come out with, but I got to take my time. And, you you know, you guys, I started with the neon yellow, the neon orange, which is my favorite, which I to me is going to be a Jesus of Vibe classic because those are the first two colors that I came out with. Um, and the second one was black. And the next color, oh my gosh, you guys, this, I'm blown. I am blown. I am blown. I don't even know how to speak right now because I just remember clearly saying, okay, what the color, what the color? And I said, you know what? I want to do different shades of nudes, like dark brown, a light brown, this and that. And I remember just doing a sample and I went on Instagram and the amount of DMs I got, oh my gosh, I need that brown. Oh my gosh, I need that tan. Blew my mind. What? I just sat down thought about, okay, what is the color that is raining? And we know that these nudes, or everybody like that, a whole nude brown look. And I was like, boom. I remember a, the t-shirt, one of the t-shirts actually, um, which I'm going to put. <laughs> um, I remember getting it and I hated it. And I remember telling <laughs> the guy who, who prints my t-shirts for me. I said, what is this? I can't even see Jesus' the vibe. It's so like light like i don't just i don't get it and i remember calling my mom my sister and i said look at this look at this and they were yelling oh my gosh i want this i want this and i'm like i called you to complain about it no this is the best and i remember calling my friends and showing them everything and the one that i hated that's what everybody loved do you see this light it's pot beans <laughs> so look you just just go, just go and just, just, just go. 
I know it's easy said than done, but you just have to, you know, you just have to make that first step. And that step is just, just do it. Just go. Just go. <laughs> um, another problem, um, another problem I hear a lot, and again, I think I said it, but let me go in depth. Oh, it's too saturated. Blogging. Oh my God, there's so many people. T-shirts, so many people are doing it. Oh, I want to sell hair. So many people are doing it. Okay. There's room enough for everybody. Just, at the end of the day, there's room enough for everybody, and we all are different. Put your own thing into it. Period. And there's a lot of people in the world that can buy your brand. Not everybody's buying A. There are people buying A. There are people buying B. There are people buying C. There are people buying D. Okay? So let's stop the excuse. Oh, my God, it's too saturated. I don't think I can do well. And you, and what happened is that you look at other people doing so well. Like, I don't think I can do this. No. I look at other people to motivate me. Those who are who are at the stage that I want to be, yeah, I look at them to, 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 to motivate myself. Like, I can, she can do it. I can do it. As Africans, as Nigerians would say, uh, <laughs> they don't have two heads. They got one head like me. So if they can do it, I can do it. The problem with a lot of people is consistency, laziness, procrastination. Again, the fear of the unknown. But to me, that's to me, that's, an, that's a huge excuse. Huge excuse. Um, well, I have no support. Can I tell you guys something? Jesus is the vibe. One brand. Shop with our day. Another brand. Uh, my ministry, um, one accord. That's three. Four. This whole YouTube and real. I did everything myself. Oh, plus my nine to five. My full time job. No help. That's why you see some bad. No help. Nobody. No assistant. Nothing. I mean, that's why I'm not gaining weight. But guess what? I was determined. I was super determined. And I knew that all these things that I wanted to do, there was one thing I had to sacrifice. And that was one thing that was not mine. And I thank God, don't get me, don't get it, don't get me twisted. I thank God for a job. Many people don't have. And I'm grateful. But now it's time for me to move on and focus on mine. So yeah. Um and, and you know another thing I want to talk about? Ah, uh, thank God. <laughs> thank God I wrote notes because I would have easily forgotten. Shop with our day is, is, is my is my personal shopping business. So doing personal shopping and wardrobe styling. Um luxury personal shopping because I love luxury. That's just me. I grew up in luxury. My mom, you know, I was young knowing about Bottega and that, you know, high brand because this is what I saw. So I'm really, really into luxury. Don't get me, I love me some Zara, I love me some mango and some fast fashion. I love it, but what I know well is high end luxury um, brands. And I remember being at work and you know, I had amazing clients and I remember clients telling me, Ade, what are you doing here? What are you doing? You are so talented. I feel like, you know, God bring, God will bring people to tell you some things. He will, he will, he would even use the birds. He would use the littlest thing to tell you, it's time to do this. We want to be deaf sometimes. Or we want to be too comfortable. You know? And I just remember a very good client of mine saying, Ade, you're so good. You shouldn't be here. And I said, I know. And all I kept saying is, I know. Now, it's not about I know. It's I know. Go. <laughs> Go. Move. And another thing was, once I just started the shop with that day, the personal shopping, even though I was working that nine to five, um, like when I would talk to my clients, you know, we just have a regular conversation. Like, yeah, I just want to start my personal shopping business. Just me opening my mouth, just me speaking brought me amazing. So yeah, <laughs> my, my camera cut. But I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that an open mouth 
who bring open doors sometimes. A closed mouth can close doors that should be open. So just talk. So just telling my clients, yeah, I'm going to do personal shopping, brought me the most amazing clients. Um, and YouTube, like just this, like I like to express a, you know so many things like clothes you know travel my faith and why would i be doing it for free when i could be getting paid hello so, you know in, in conclusion what i'm trying to tell you is that you have to believe in yourself first believe in what you first believe in yourself and then it'll be easy for you to believe in what you want to do so i just want to encourage you all that Look, if you feel like in your guts, like this is the time, just go, just go. I did it, I quit my job, I was scared, I was like, oh my god, I get paid every two weeks, you know, good money every two weeks. Ooh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know, I get paid every, I get good, <laughs> sorry, that snooze was annoying. I get paid every two weeks, you know, this and that, this and that, but I said no, I say, no, no, go, move, it's time, the time is now and i am doing what i love so i want you guys i want i want to hear testimonies i want to hear you guys come message me you know i did i i watched your youtube this is how, how what i was feeling and now i quit my job if i'm not saying everybody this is if you're thinking about it you know and i'm doing what i love or if you're in a place where you're not happy i'm sorry that is that is torturing Go somewhere else where you can be happy. Go to the job that will make you happy. Do what you want to do that, that, that will make you happy, that will bring joy. There's so many things going on around this earth, this world. Why be in a place that will frustrate you? The world's already crazy. So anyway, shop Jesus the Bob, because he's the Bob. <laughs> and I just want to thank you guys again for watching. Again, please, if you enjoy you know um this video subscribe like and tell me what you guys want to see what do you want me to put up uh, message me like i'm here to answer and just to just be real with y'all i'm not ashamed i'm not ashamed all right okay thank you bye